So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number four. Today is May the 26th, 2022. So as before, I'm going to just um, go through the, the kind of the, uh, what we're gonna talk about today. And um, so welcome and checking in and then we'll do a presence meditation. And then we'll go to talk about controllers, which we did not um, manage to cover last week. And then I'm just going to talk about a, um, a simple energy self-care routine that you can all do if you feel like it. And that is going to really assist you in um, caring for your own energy like um, within the body and, and so just making sure that the energy is moving well and um, and then we're going to have a clearing a group clearing so and so first thing first we're just going to do a check-in so welcome everybody and in Feel free to speak up if you have any questions that you want that, that I didn't go over to too well last week or any other of the, the previous couple of weeks. And feedback, anything. Anything you want to, to clear from last week before we continue to move on to this week i have a story to say <laughs> sure. um the other, there's a lot of people that are are begging for money on in the medians these days and so i you know normally i give them something if if i happen to stop at the right time you know it depends on where they are and when when the light goes and all that kind of thing because there's a lot of traffic but anyway so this one day um this, this guy came to the car window and he was kind of, kind of forward, kind of came at me a little bit more than I had anticipated. And I didn't feel good after that. Like I really didn't feel good. And I, I, I've never done this before, even though I bought the stuff but I never did it before. But when I came home right away and I said, okay, this is not, this is not good. Something's not right here. So I, I took, um, I have a, a smudging feather and a shell and, and sage and that. And I smudged myself as much as I could. I found a prayer on the, on the line and I smudged myself as I, I felt something wasn't like, I felt attacked, mm -hmm. you know, that's the first that that's ever, I, I'm not saying it's first I've ever felt attacked because of course I have, but that's the first time I've ever done something about it and recognized it and, and, you know, sort of was on top of it. So, yay. Hey, wow. <laughs> hey, good on you. Yeah. Yeah. Thought, okay. I can manage this a little bit, you know, I got to watch for these people, not look them in the eye or something, or put a, put a mirror on my abdomen or I don't know something, you know, yeah, it's um, the it's a lot. Yeah, I, I, I feel that too because um, I think that that is kind of the um, the trend um, for the time being. It will it will get better, but it's it's like we we had some interesting times in the the last two years, so that's. And it really put a spin uh, on everybody's life and and livelihood as well. So, yeah, I yeah. had a Lewis experience uh, yesterday. I was out shopping and uh, was waiting for the cab, and I remember the button. So the store quickly by, and she was quite a big lady with the cart and. Your voice is breaking up. Sorry. Ooh. 
We can't quite hear you. Oh, volume is full. Let's try. Hi, is this better? Um, maybe if no. you, I, I think it may be the bandwidth. So maybe if you turn off the, um, the, the visual, the video, it may be better. Oh, oh. Give it a try. I don't know. Some, How's it, that? Sometimes it is may that be. better? Yeah, that, yeah, that's better. It is better. Okay. Yeah, so I was saying this lady, she just came and sat on the bench next to where I was waiting. Mm -hmm. And I went into the store and came back and I had a little change in my hand. Mm -hmm. So she suddenly asked me, uh, can you spare 75 cents? So I was looking, I didn't have that much in my hand. So I looked in my change purse and I, I also took out an extra dollar. And then I gave her the 75 cents and said, would you like some more? And she said, yeah, so I gave her a dollar too. And then I just felt good and uh, at least I could help somebody. But I thought she was like waiting for a bus or something. Then later on, I realized that maybe she was a homeless lady and she was just trying to get courage up to ask for money. Mm -hmm. It's really sad to think like that. So people are so bad. Charlotte, I wanted to ask you, you said mirror on your stomach. What is it? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I, I was thinking if I put a mirror on my abdomen, it would it would reflect the energy it of reflects, the person. Yeah, it would. Yeah, we're no, taking... It's supposed to be very, uh, very, very it's supposed to be on a stomach. Well, uh, I don't, I don't know. Chakra or anyway? I don't know. I've never done it, but I just thought it was a good idea. <laughs> I, <guess. laughs> I thought you know. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> I think it'd be better if I just do a smudge. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's especially if uh, I, I have a friend of mine who who. Um, was doing some delivery work. So she goes into all sorts of different places. And some of the, the places that she went in is just the energy is very wonky. So I actually um, uh, asked her to, uh, she, she has a, she has a, it's, it's like a pyramid, but it's in Sungite. So that's really a grounding um, um, stone, a grounding kind of, of stone. So that, so she has it in her car so that it's, it's kind of, whenever she feels like anything is, 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 is not right, she would just <laughs> use that pyramid, a uh, shungite to, to um, shift the energy again. Um, does not have to be Shungite. It could be something like onyx. Um, does not have to be a a um, pyramid shape. It could be just a stone, a stone shape. So something that you like. If you're driving, if you're going into a lot of places, then just have, just make sure that you um, when you get to a place where you when you're out of that that situation, just ground yourself a little bit. Yeah, so that's that's one of the quick way to do that. Um, other ways is you can actually do a use a um, tuning fork or a bell because that energy would just clear your your energy right away. So, like a singing bowl, would that work too? Um, yeah, a small one it does not have to be. You know, because if you if yeah. you Something that you can carry with you in your car. That... Can I use this? Sure. Okay. Uh, for me, I found rosemary is the best thing. Just a few branches of rosemary. Keep it with you in your car. And that is really help to win the energy. It works. It works. It works good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dry, dry rosemary? A normal, I keep um, the fresh rosemary. Yeah, you can use dry, but normally I used to 
few brushes of rosemary with me uh, all the time in the car. Yeah. And also it's um, for the homeless, it's really most of the homeless right up now, believe me, they are very um, highly spiritual people. And they're choosing that way really just for maybe lessons in their life or maybe um, they are in a stage of uh, dropping in and, um, and they're not really able to adjust really between the spiritual world and also the, our physical world. But uh, most of them, they're really, um, they are very, very high energetically, either uh, minus or, or plus. So really when you see them always, um, see them with respect, either they can harm you or help you. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. There's more of them all the time. Like there's almost every meridian here, there's, there's homeless, it's, it's more and more and more and, and more women now too. Yeah. That there yeah. hasn't been before. Yeah. Yeah. And young, young ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other comments, questions? Okay, if not, then let's, um, let's just do a presence meditation. So I'm just going to mute everybody. We'll just have a very quick presence meditation before I begin with the controllers. So just take a deep breath in. And let it all go. Take another deep breath in. And let it all go. Take a third deep breath in. And let it all go. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of keeping your breathing rhythmic. Rhythmic meaning that if you take two counts to breathe in, then when you breathe out, take two counts to breathe out as well. So that the breathing in is the same length of time as the breathing out. And also each time as you breathe in, imagine that you are breathing in, taking in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, you're letting go of anything that does not support you in this moment. And allow yourself to continue to breathe rhythmically for just a little bit longer. and relax your body as much as possible. Every time you breathe in, breathe in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that does not support you in this moment. Things like tension, stress, worries, all of those things that does not support you in this moment. Just let them all go and allow your body to come back into center. And as you feel yourself becoming more centered and calm, also set the intention to call back all parts of yourself. During the day, you give your attention out, whether you're at work, at play, 
doing things around the house or outside the house, you send your attention to your environment, to the people that you talk to, to everyone that you thought of. Call back all of your attention to yourself now. Call back all of your energy to yourself in this moment. In this moment, just focus on you. Focus on being present in this moment with yourself. Call back all of your soul parts. And also call in the highest vibration version of you that you have access to in this moment. Bring that in. Bring in the highest vibration version of yourself, of your soul that you have access to in this moment. And allow all the non-physical parts of you to come back to the physical parts of you. so that you, in this moment, feel at one. With all of you, or as much of you as you can handle in this moment. And feel all parts of you within your heart. Feel your body. Feel all the other energetic bodies of yourself. Come all the way back to yourself. And when you are feeling like you are all here, and centered and come all the way back into the room and open your eyes if you have closed them. So welcome back. Okay, so let's continue on with what we are going to talk about today, which is talking about controllers. So what are controllers first? What are controllers? Um, so let me just go to the Oops, let me see which one. Yeah, this one. Okay. So, so this is kind of a um, representation of our spine. So this is our spine. And our spine is actually connected to all sorts of different organs, nervous system throughout our body. We have different parts of the spine. We have the cervical parts, there are nine cervical joints and then 12 thoracic and so on. So each, so just want to show what each of those, this is seven cervic, cervical vertebrae, okay. So controlling different organs, different parts of the body. And if each one of our, the nerve, the nerve endings that, that kind of 
feeds into our spine, if it is blocked, then some of these are some of the symptoms that we may feel. So we may have hypertension, we may feel migraine, stiffness, weakness, different parts of our body aching. So this is just the cervical part. And then we have the thoracic. So it may interfere with our heart's function, lungs function, all different parts. And then we also have the lumbar. So lumbar is usually about the lower part of the body. It's in the thigh, abdomen, all of these. So the spine is really connecting everything within our body. So everything within our body and then there are so many different um, there are so many different energy pathways that is within our body. So that there is the heart meridian, um, lung meridian, liver meridians, all of those, all within the body. So it's kind of very hard to learn about how, like all of the different. Um, pathways um, and also taking care of all the, the, the different parts of the, the spine to figure out which vertebra is what. So the shortcut is controllers. So what are controllers? So controllers um, first, where they are. They are, so if you look at the back of your head, where the baseline of the skull is. So on each side of your, the baseline of your skull, the right and the left side, there are six controllers on each side. And so each of these controllers, which they are called zone. So I would um, kind of talk about how to find them a little later on, but right now I just want to give a very high level, talk about uh, a refresher about what the, the different zones are. So, so zone one is the outer, the outermost, the outermost. If you think of this big circle as your head, then um, closest to the circumference of the circle would be the outer one. So the zone one is really where the, the red G and the one is. The zone one is glandular and it kind of controls these cervical one, thoracic one, and lumbar one, and also where the, um, what's the I'm not quite sure what the S1 is. So, so that is the controller for all these different parts of the body. So it's all about um, signals that comes from our major glands. It's what zone one is about. So zone two is connected to um, large intestine, connected to the kidney area, all of that. So that is elimination, eliminative. So C2, thoracic three and 12 and number two. And then zone three is the nervous system. So this digestion, muscular, circulatory, so all six of them. So how to find where they are. So let me just pull up this picture. So this is kind of the picture of our skull. If you kind of just um, touch your jawline, so this area, touch your jawline and just follow the jawline to the back all the way up to your ear. 
and then you skip over to the skull, so which is here, and you would see, you would feel that there is actually a dip, kind of um, something a little bit pointed out. So this area is, is you. If you just follow your skull line, you will find that there is one part of your skull that is slightly longer, and then it starts to dip backwards. So this, when it starts to dip backward, that's where zone one is. And if you put your thumb there, if you put your thumb there and kind of just put your, all of your fingers to fit from this zone one area all to the back of your head, you will kind of feel that there is just enough room for five, all five fingers to fit. Plus there is a little space in between your, your two pinkies. So that's where the zone number six is, okay? So let me kind of um, demonstrate. So, um, so if you follow your jawline, uh, let me try. follow your jawline, go up here, the ear, just under the ear, you will be able to find the skull, the, the skull. And then when you touch the skull, don't, don't try to press too hard, just lightly touch it and follow to the back. You will find that, yeah, it's, it starts to move up. So when it moves up, that's when you know that that's, this is where zone one is. So if you do that on the other side as well, and you kind of just put your fingers at the back of your head, you would kind of know that it, the back of your skull just have a space in between your two pinkies. So that's, What's in, this, in between is just enough space for zone six. So that's how you find all the different zones. So any question about how to find them yet? Can everybody kind of find it? You guys understand what I'm talking about so far? Yes. Yes. It's yes. the spot where the head kind of dips in. Kind of? um, yes, so mm -hmm. so when you when you follow your jawline up into your ear area and then you and then that will be where the skull is. Just, yeah. So then the, the skull it starts off um, lower. And then it starts to move higher. Higher. Right? Yeah. So that once it starts to move higher, that's zone one. That's one. Okay. That's where you put your thumb. And then when you just put the rest of your hand, if you just do that, then it and so you kind of using your fingers to touch the base of your skull. And if you do it on both sides, you will notice that there's just a little bit of room left between both, um, you, both sets of fingers because there are actually six controllers. So you only have five fingers. So that's why there is that little um, gap in between. That's where zone six is. So, so far, so good? Got you. Okay. Yep, thanks. So great. So um, what I want to do is now that you know where it is, I want to actually understand that we have, you know, yeah, right side and the left side and they are the same. So let me do the share screen back to the share screen again. And um, where are we? Yes, back to this one here. So the both, both sides is the same. 
So there is a zone one here. And then on the on the left side, there's same the it's zone one, and then they move in. Okay. So let's do this um, one is to test it out first. So I want you to now that you know where it is. So I just you, you don't have to touch it. I just want you to set the intention to activate on the right side zone one so so just put your intention to activate zone one on the right side for a little bit and then just if you put your intention there then you would start to feel there's a little pausing you would notice a little pausing there does everybody feel that yet? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> now, activate the left side as well. So activate the left side, the zone one on the left side. Let's activate that. And give it, so just keep repeating that intention to yourself. And after maybe 30 seconds or a little longer, you will start to feel on the left side, it's also coming online as well, it's activated as well. Right, got that? Vini, so see, first it's right next to the ears. <clears throat> that spot it's close to the year it's not yeah, right yeah. next to it yes that's one that's so let's say these are the ears on the the outest and that's where you have you have to feel the pulse yeah You feel it yet? Just activate it. On both sides. I don't have pools. <laughs> okay. Uh, on not on both, neither side or one side is better than the other. Both sides. Both sides. Okay. Let's just. Okay. Um, if that's the case, then what I want you to do is actually just massage, just very lightly massage it, massage it. A massage it on the left side, slightly. So are you relaxed? You have to relax because if you if you have tense, if your shoulder is tense and all that, you're um, kind of cutting the flow of energy there. So be very relaxed first. Any better, Tatiana? I mean, I find the spot, but I don't feel pulse. Okay. It's very subtle. So, so you found the spot. Okay. So now set the intention that you want to increase. So just 
increase the, the flow of energy there. Increase it. To set that intention. I start to feel very, very light. Great. You feeling something? So, are you feeling on both sides? On right side more. Okay. At first, because this is the first time we actually start to do this. At first, it will be very um, subtle. So, if you can feel something at all, then that will be good enough for now. As we do more work, it, you will feel it more. Okay. So, so far, so far you can feel something? Yes. Okay, great. Anybody else have any problem? Okay, if not, then what I want you to do is just imagine. Imagine that those two points are connected. Kind of imagine that there is a circle, horizontal circle that connects the zone one on the left and on the right side. Just imagine that there is this energetic circle of energy that connects those two and just run energy that links the left and the right zone one together in a circle horizontal circle. You understand what I'm saying? So that those two, both sides are now linked energetically. And just imagine energy flowing in the circle. So that it actually the energy is flowing through the zone on the right side and it's going to the back of your neck and it's linking up with the zone one on the left side. And then the left side is there is a circle of energy that goes in front of your jaw and then linking back to the right side of zone one. Just imagine that there is that circle that links up both the right side and the left side. How is that going? It's okay. Okay, wonderful. Can you feel that the energy is actually, um, you don't really have to touch it anymore once you, once you kind of get it going. You just have that so that, you know, the one zone one is running a circle of energy that connects to zone one on the left. And then it, and this energy is kind of running to connect with the right. So there's this circular energy. How is that? To allow that to run a little bit as it starts to link up both the left and the right side you would feel supposedly you would feel the energy getting stronger because the left and the right side are talking to each other 
So your body actually is starting to connect. And when the energy is connected, it will start to get stronger because when it's connected, it will start to clear any slow sluggish energy. So far so good? Yes. Everybody feeling that? Okay. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. And now let's go to, so keep that going. And while that is going, okay, thanks, Eve. <laughs> while that is going, now let's go to zone two. So zone two is just slightly inwards. So it is just, it's just one finger width inward towards the, the, the middle of the neck or the middle of the head. So just set the intention to activate zone two on the right side first. And remember to really relax your neck and shoulder area so that you can actually feel zone two being activated. And then once you've activated the right side, activate the left side, zone two. Zone two is for elimination functioning within the body. So just activate zone two, right and left. So far so good, left and right activated. Yes. Great. So do the same thing. Is imagine that there is a second circle of energy that links up the zone two on the right with the left. So there's another energy. Circle that links up the Zone two on the right with zone two on the left. You just have that second circle running just inside because zone two, the location of zone two, it will be running within this, the uh, circle of energy of zone one. The zone one is the outermost, so it's the biggest it's an energy circle. So zone two will be within it. There'll be zone two. So just imagine the energy that is running from zone two. We go to the, from the right hand side and then it will go through the cervical two vertebra and then go and link up with zone two on the left side and then zone two on the left side would go in front and link up with zone two on the right again creating this second circle.
How is that? Good. Okay. Mm. Wonderful. <laughs> you feeling more energy now? Because we have two circle running. I feel some tension. Yeah. So just relax. As much as possible, relax. So when you have these energy, that when you create these energies running left and right, yeah. Especially if you had some um, these controllers blocked before and when you now specifically go and turn them back on, yeah, you may feel some um, tension because it's trying to clear any blockage. But just as much as possible, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Just allow the energy to run. And after a bit, it will, it will start to be more smooth. Okay, so far so good. Yes. Okay, yeah. thank you. Let's let's go for zone three now. Zone three is the nervous system. Okay, so now one more finger in inwards. Move that zone three. So just turn the zone three on the right. Just set the intention to activate it. Turn it on. Imagine three fingers in from the base of the skull on the right side. Just set the intention to turn it on. And keep repeating that intention until you kind of feel there's a pulse going there. Once you feel a pulse, then do the other side as well. Do the left side. So on the left side, three fingers in through the base of your skull. That is zone three. Set the intention to turn left side on. And once you turn that on, you feel a little pulse there. So far, so good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Great, thank you for letting me know. So now, let's connect the right side and the left side. So just set the intention to create the third circle of energy. So this time on the right side, zone three, just have that link up with the cervical three vertebra. And then go to the left side to link up with zone three on the left. And then zone three of the, on the left, have that circle of energy go in front so that and move back connect with zone three on the right. So create that third circle of energy that is running within your head, just touching the base of the skull.
Anybody starting to get warm? Remember to relax, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. I have a pressure across my forehead quite strongly. Yeah, okay. Just breathe into it. The other thing I may suggest is to actually adjust how you sit, because it's not just the uh, cervical three, it, it is also lumbar as well. So maybe you just adjust how you're sitting, see if that makes any difference. You're still feeling that tightness, Shana? It's, it's a little better when I sat up a little bit straighter. It's a little better. Okay. Wherever it is that you feel this tension, then touch it. So when you touch it, you kind of acknowledge that. Let your body know that you want, you want the body to do something about it. Better. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Anyone else has any uh, issues coming up? Every everything is good. We can move on. Yes. Yes. Here. Okay, great. okay, let's do zone four, digestion. So zone four. So just imagine four fingers in from the base of your, your skull on the right side. Just activate that. Activate it on the right side first. Set that intention, activate zone four on the right side. Mm. So relax your neck, relax your shoulders. You have a few energies running in your head now and you're just adding one more. So on the zone four on the right side. For myself, I kind of, um, what I, what I feel is I don't particularly feel that, like I don't quite, um, I'm not sensitive enough to feel like which area it is. I just know that something just pulsing there. On the right side. So when you feel a little bit of pulsing on the right side, then go to the left and activate the zone four on the left.
So once you have both right and left side activated, you can link them up again, just like the others. So just imagine zone four on the right, that there is a circle of energy that goes from zone four on the right. It loops around cervical four vertebra and then go over to zone four on the left. And then zone four on the left, there is a circle of energy that goes from the front of the face to link up with zone four on the right again. So now you have four circle of energies, like concentric circles of energies running inside your skull. Everybody feeling okay? No, me, any tension? Okay. Everything's okay, okay, great. Good to know. Four, digestion. It should be, it should be good because now we are after dinner. So we are really firing up the digestive energies. So now let's move on to zone five. Muscular. So zone five, just activate the zone five on the right. And then when you feel something pulsing there, then activate zone five on the left. So five on the left. I find that my for me the right side comes on really easily on the left. It's a little it took a little bit longer. So that's just me. It may not be you, but just if it does not come on right away, then just continue to repeat that intention to yourself and you'll find that it will zone five on the left will come on once you have both sides turned on then same thing create that circle of energy that goes from zone five on the right loops to the back of your head touches cervical five vertebra and then go to zone five on the left linking both sides up and then from zone five on the left it goes in front and link back up to zone five on the right from in front the so five concern concentric circles now within your head you should definitely feel something moving around the base of your skull because you you really intentionally moving energy there. You may need to adjust your neck, the position of your neck, your shoulder, or your spine, and the way you sit to support your body to move those energies. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, let's... attention. Attention where? In the back of my head. Back and it's the... going down. Okay, it's going down. 
So just relax where you feel, wherever it is that you feel the tension, just relax that part of the body. And just imagine that you can breathe into it. And really relax your sacral area where you're sitting is that if you if you relax in your sacral area then blood and other energies will be able to flow so how is it it's good thank you okay yeah because we're running energies that may have been blocked for some time so when we do this you um just be very intentional about adjusting your body position so that it supports your like the the energy running again there's more much more energy running through your body now so every bit of misalignment you will feel it more that's why you need to move your spine or your sacral, your, adjust your hip area so that you can make yourself more comfortable. Okay, let's do number six now. So number six is kind of right near the center of the base of your skull. So just turn on the right side first. Zone six on the right, turn it on. Allow the energy to slowly get turned on. And you feel this, a pulse going through there then turn on the left side, zone six on the left. It should be right next to it. When both sides turn on, then make that circle. This will be a, a much smaller circle now. So from zone six on the right side, let the energy also touch cervical six vertebra, and then go back up to zone six on the left. And then zone six on the left would go to the front and meet up with zone six on the right. So there are six concentric circles running within your, uh, around the base of your skull now. You should really feel, actually I feel the, the crown of my head also. The energy is running there too. So remember to adjust your neck, adjust your shoulder or adjust your spine, hip, sacral area as much as possible so the energy can flow, really flow. All six circles running. How's that? Tiny bit of nausea. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll just breathe. Yeah. Remember to breathe. Yeah, some of these energies may be uh, 
have been blocked for a bit. So just So just do some um, elongate your breath or use your really use your your belly to breathe in. Everybody's good so far? Yes. Yes. Okay. So how do you feel? How do you guys feel with all that thick energy running? It's hard to I feel find a little it. bit. A, a, a little bit lightheaded. A little bit lightheaded? Okay. Yeah. 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 Across the top of the head still. Yeah. Okay. So where, wherever it is that you feel tension, just touch it. Let your body know that you want, you want the body to do something about it. And, and relax your neck as much as possible. Neck and shoulder. Any better? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good. Can I ask, uh, you had uh, the different points mentioned for each of the zones. So that yeah. is part of the vertebra, yeah? The, yeah. Like the C1, T1. So, yeah. But we're not supposed to feel it there. We're just supposed to feel it in the head. You may feel it there as well. Yeah, you may feel it there uh, too. Looking at the diagram, head. and there was a more detailed one along with the one that you put up mm -hmm. of the actual body next to it. And it shows which zone, the zone. Uh, points to that. I sent a couple of them to you guys on WhatsApp. Just the diagram. Uh, it shows. You mean this one here? Yeah, along, along the one with the brain center. No, uh, it's. You just look. If you look later on your WhatsApp, you'll see it. Okay. It's the actual body form next to next to the one that you had with the circle of the zone of the head. Mm -hmm. So it's showing from there how it points to the parts of the body throughout the whole body. All the points of the spine vertebra. So where you have like for glandular or circulatory, mm -hmm. it has a picture of all the points. It's very neat. I just thought that would have explained it better. But... Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, zone. If I just wrote zone something of the body, mm -hmm. the zone numbers, and it comes up mm -hmm. in the Google. Yeah. Very okay. Nice. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now let's um let's come back. So when I when I run that, um, I 
So what I feel is, it's like there's a lot of, I feel hot. So it's energy pushing through. Any, how about you guys? How do you feel about that? The, the, the zone, working with the zones. I wanted to ask you why we need to activate them. Um, activate them is, is just kind of, um, you call them on duty. So you mm -hmm. let them know, okay, no, 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 I want you to do work now. I see. So that, that's why. And linking them up is because the right side and the left side of the body need to talk to each other. Usually when, when the body does not talk to each other, that's when um, things can go wrong because something happening on the right side, the left side don't know anything about it. And it will just go on, do what it's doing. But if there is connection, the, if the right and the left side of the body talks to each other, then they can start to work with each other to resolve any issues, any blockage, anything that's wrong. It will, it's, it's like um, when people don't talk to each other, they just do their own stuff. So things can, can go wrong quite fast that way. But when left and right side of the body talk to each other, then the whole body just works better. Mm -hmm. Got it, thank you. Yeah, and uh, I want to introduce the zone because there's only like 12 points. So six on the right, six on the left. So mm -hmm. working with 12 points is much easier than um, trying to to um, go for oh, the meridians because there's so many different points to, to learn or the different, there are so many different meridians. So just simple, keep it, keeping it simple. And those are the controllers. So just work, it's, it's like work with the, the highest authority. So the controllers, so that's, that's why I want to introduce the, the controllers. Um, I have to find it. I remember I talked about it a couple of years ago when I find the the the, um, the episode, then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so that concludes the controllers. So now let's go on to talk about so um, so all of this four four weeks. This is the last of the four weeks of. Um, of playing with energy. So I just want to like, so this is just playing with energy. And this is not about healing anything, even though when you move energy around, it does start to, your body would start to heal itself very naturally because that's, the body does that. Um, however, I just want to introduce this as uh, something that um, like kind of a, a routine that if it resonates with you, you can start to use for, I would say just self-care. It's not about like if you have something that is um, you know, life-threatening or any kind of, of, of diagnosis that you can't, what do you yeah, any, anything that's too, um, that is, uh, that is like any big illness, then this may not be enough. However, this is only for just um, maintenance. For if you do this, then make sure that your own energy is running smoothly and it should take care of minor things. So mm -hmm. starting next month, I will talk about, you know, how do you handle more specific things? Mm -hmm. So this month is just playing with energy. Mm -hmm. And so what I want to talk about is this energy self-care. 
So energy self-care. So the first thing I want to talk about is breathing. So our breath is with us all the time. So just using our breath, just doing the right breathing, it already sorts out a lot of things. For example, when we are, um, when we are elongating our breath, we already start to relax our body. And stress is kind of the, the, the base of, or, or the beginning of all other illness. So if you do breathing right, you will feel relaxed most of the time, if not all of the time. So if you, if you can just be mindful of elongating your breath as much as it is comfortable for you for as long as you can, then that's already um, very helpful to helping yourself to keep a, your body healthy. So breathing. So what are the things about breathing that you that to look out for? It's elongating your breath. I already mentioned that. And also use rhythmic breath um, breathing as well. Rhythmic means in the, the time it takes for you to breathe in, it is, it's the same as the time for you to breathe out. That's rhythmic. So you kind of create a circle of breath. When you do that, then your body um, gets kind of aligned, more aligned. So elongating, rhythmic, and then the other thing you can do is to I've mentioned something called unity breath before is most of the time we, we, we are just ourselves. We're not connecting to other um, energy sources, but the unity breath is you intentionally connect your own energy with the energy of earth and the energy of the sun as well. So that are, that would bring in two other major source of energy. So it, it kind of increase your own um, supply and resources as well. So three things that I mentioned is unity breath. So unity breath is just connected to limitless source of energy. So it could, it can be just connecting to earth and connecting to the sun. Or you can also bring in energy from the source as well. You can bring in energy from Jupiter, if you like Jupiter energy. So it, it, it's all up to your own preference and imagination. But when first thing for a, an energy self-care routine is to just start with breathing. Start with just take a minute or two of just re-elongating your, your breath and also rhythmic breathing. When you feel your body just becoming more relaxed, then you can bring in connecting to earth, connecting to the sun, so that you have more access to limitless source of energy. So that's first step in energy self-care is to is the breathing part. And then once you kind of feeling um, more energized, you connected to limitless energy, then the other thing is balance yourself. So how do you balance yourself? Balance is so there are two two things to, um, or actually three things maybe. So I've talked about the, last time we talked about the, the, the microcosmic orbit. So that is moving energy from the front to the back. So this cycle of energy. So it is really from front to back. So this is, throughout the, the length of your body, from your heart, going over to 
the, um, I've got that point now. It is, so it's kind of the pelvic floor. So it starts to move at the, the, the between the crutch area and then energy to the back, loops to the back of your, your spine and then go through and then all the way through coming back in front. So that, that is the microcosmic. So Sifu James call it the 3396. So if you just call 3396, activate, then you can feel the energy moving from the front down and it goes, loops back and then coming back again. And then 6693 is the opposite direction. So the energy would go from the, if you want to go to uh, from the heart, then go from the heart. We we'll move up to the head, go all the way down your spine and then loop back up front, back to your heart. So that's 6639. So then that is top to bottom balance. And then there's the left to right balance, which I haven't talked about. So let's talk about left side of body and the right side of body. So that, that balance, um, very simple. So what you can do is just use your palm face. So put your palm near your face, but not touching it. So you can feel the, so your palm would be sensitive enough. If it is not, then you just activate it and let it so that you can feel the left side of your face and the right side of your face. If there is any difference between the two, then set the intention to balance it. So the left and the right side feels exactly the same. Exactly the same meaning that it's the same temperature, same feeling. Okay. And once you feel that both sides is the same, then you're done. That's balancing left and right. That's one way of doing it. And if, if you know, just holding the face up may be a little too tiring, you can actually do it on um, just your chest as well. Just if you're sitting on a chair with, with, um, with the arm, then you just put your elbow on the arms of your chair and just wherever your palm can reach. So you just have the, the palm kind of face, it would be the upper chest area, both left side and right side, make sure they're about the same height. So and just do the same thing, just feeling both left side and right side, feel the same. You're supposed to feel it on the body, not on the hand. I can feel like a cool breeze in the hand. Yeah, uh, feel your palm. So feel it on your palm. Palm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, feel how your body feels. And if both sides is not the same, then you set the intention to balance both sides so that both sides feels the same. And after a little bit, let's, you should feel that both sides feels about the same. And when both sides feels about the same, then you have balanced both left and right. So pretty easy. Left and right, top and bottom. So those that's balance. So energetically, you are kind of balanced. And probably when you are energetically balanced, you, you emotionally balanced too. So um, breathing balance. And then the third thing you can do is you can do the body tracing. Like um, I think it's 
it's the second week we did the body tracing. Yeah. So you have the body in your in front of your heart. And so you would move it up to the shoulder on your left. So if this is my right hand, so I would move it to the left, left side to the shoulder. And then I would do trace the inner arm. So the inside of the arm and just trace it, use my palm to feel the energy. And then once I get to the palm, I will flip over and I will trace the outside arm. Go back to the shoulder and then here. And then you switch arms and you do it twice. You do it two or three times. Um, usually twice would be good enough. So that's the arm. And then you do that on the, the, the head as well. You trace your body, move it up to your neck, and then you fan it out to both sides and then follow your ear all the way up to the top of your head. And then both uh, palms come back together again and then you move it in front. Facing your third eye, up the nose, mouth, your chin, and then go back to your heart. So that's the, the head. And you do it with the body, as, with the feet as well. So from the heart, you go down to your belly button and then you start to move your hand out to the right hand to the right hip, left hand to the left hip. And then you use your palm to trace the inside leg all the way down to the ankle of your feet, then you kind of move it out to the outside leg of your ankle and then come back up. And go to the outside of your hip. And then from your hip, you can come back into the belly button and then you go all the way back up to the heart. Do that. So each, so three sessions of tracing. Yeah. Arms, head, and leg, and the, the lower body. So twice each time. And you saw one more on the, on the body. On In the body. The okay. So from the heart. So both both palms um, touching. So you go all the way down to your belly button. Right. So both palms overlapping the belly button. And then from the belly button, the right palm will go to the right hip, kind of on top of the hip. And then the left palm go to the left hip. And then from there, you go to the palm on each side of your hand. We go to the inner thigh. So right palm on right thigh in the thigh, left palm on left in the thigh. So from the thigh, you trace it down to the knees. <clears throat> so all the inner knee, so inner part of your leg. Okay, so that is the yin. Usually the, the inner arm is the yin part of your arm. So this, so the inner, legs are the yin part of your legs so all the way down to the ankle and then from the ankle you just shift your palms out to the outer ankle so you now you are tracing your outer leg from the ankle you go up to the knee, so outside of your knee. And then from the knee, go back up to the outside of your hip. And from the hip, you move your both palms back into 
coming back together again in the belly button. And then from belly button, you move it up to the heart. Okay, so far so good? Good. Okay, so, so then, um, so three things. So breathing. And we need one in front of the legs, you remember? This out inside and outside twice. And then we did on in front of the leg and then behind and up. No, we didn't do that. No. You didn't do that? No. 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 Mm. No, the inside and the outside of the leg. Okay. This is actually balancing the yin and the yang. Okay. Okay. So three arms, head, yeah. and, and body. And, and then inside yeah. and outside. Thank you. What do you mean? <clears throat> so three, right? Three. Three, yes. Three sets. Three sets, yeah. Okay, so you've done the breathing, you've done the balancing, you've traced your body, and if you have time, then we can do the controllers. Then you can do controllers, which is what we've done earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. So if you do all those four things, or um, uh, if you don't have enough time, you can just, you know, one day you do the body tracing, the other day you would do the controllers. So, but, you know, breathing and balancing would be um, like you do that every time you, you do this routine. If you have time, do all four. If not, just do three and just pick the three. Pick three to do. So that would be a energy self-care routine that I suggest. Great. Thank you. Okay. Any mm -hmm. questions so far? No. Nope. No? Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm.